Okay, welcome to Novo Ants. Now this week I have something special for you guys. It's going to be a big week, so I hope you're ready for binge watching my ant colonies. I'm going to do a series and it's going to be one colony per day for seven days. So this is day one, colony one, and we all know what colony one is. That's my Campanotus concebrinus colony or my banded sugar ants with Queen Scarlet. So I'm doing this series so you guys can get an update on all of the colonies in one week so you can see where they're all up to and then you can let me know your um, thoughts in the comments um, what you think of this series and then I've got um, many more videos coming after this as well so I hope you enjoy this series that I have this week binge watching for all you people that are still stuck in isolation if you are I hope you enjoy it all right guys let's get into it Beloved banded sugar ants with Queen Scarlet. Um, I love this colony, it's great. Um, they have exploded um, over the time I've had them, um, which is about two years. You've seen the development through the different videos I have. If you haven't seen the other videos, feel free to go back and have a look through them and see the development right from the beginning where I caught just the queen by herself and now she's turned into this massive colony, which is great. Now in my last video, I upgraded them into a new nest and a new outworld. Now this is an old fish tank here that I've decorated and I still really like the setup of this. Um, it's nice and different. There's plenty of different things the ants can explore even in the outworld. I've tried to give them different terrain that they can go over. So here you can see one, one of these uh, ants there just resting on a gum leaf um, that's sitting in there as well. So I've got some rock areas and it's a little area here which is right in the middle. This is the graveyard. So you can see there's a few dead ants here that have died just from old age. Uh, mealworms, skeletons, pieces of crickets and the like. So ants are very clean and they just dump that in that one area and everything else is kept nice and clean. So they seem to be really enjoying this outworld um, to begin with in that other video. Again, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. But they started to dig down in this corner but they really haven't done anything more than with that now. They've just gone into their new nest, which they, they are loving. So as we go around the outworld here, again, those biformica liquid feeders, oh boy, they're a lifesaver, they're fantastic. You can top them up and they've just got a constant water supply, constant sugar water there as well for them, which is great. So I love this outworld, it's really nice. Uh, nice and big for them to explore really good what do you guys think do you like the outworld let me know what you think now let's have a look at the Waitong nest so here it is here I've actually put a little bit of insulation around it um, because it is getting colder and colder here so I'm trying to keep the nest fairly warm I don't use heat mats or anything um, but just a bit of cardboard on the top and a bit of foam around the side which obviously I've taken off at the moment so here's the, the the tubing for the access which you will have seen in the other video it seems to be working really well uh, no complaints with it. They're not loading it down with rubbish inside the tubing. Um, a couple of different access ways they use both. They're not hanging out in there either, which is really nice. So I'm really happy with that. It's a good moderator. And here we have the Waitong nest. Now, again, in the last couple of videos, part one and part two, I showed you this nest and how I went about making it. So this is um, one of my first attempts at a Waitong nest, and I'm really happy with the result. I did make a few little mistakes along the way, but that's okay. It's still functional. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this nest. So let's have a look inside. Here's Queen Scarlet. Beautiful queen. Look at those colors there on her thorax or mesoma. Now that's beautiful coloring, isn't it? And there's that band at the top of the abdomen, which they're known for, they're banded sugar ants. So she's doing really well. She's nice and healthy. She doesn't have that swollen abdomen anymore like she used to, but she's still producing lots of brood. Some of the larger or what you'd say the maybe the medium size workers, they're acting as repletes as well. So their abdomens are really swollen. So they're storing um, that food for the colony as well. And there's quite a lot of those actually in this nest and the setup. Okay, so around the nest, we can see the brood here now. 
there's lots of brood. There's not a lot of eggs now, which is what I expect as we head into the colder months. This tends to be the way it goes, but there's uh, plenty of middle stage, so larvas. Not into cocoons or anything yet, but those, those larvae are there, which is great. Now, this is not Queen Scarlet, but again, this is just another queen that stayed in the nest after I had uh, the Elates um, late last year as well. So she stayed around, she's still living and helping out. You can see there again one of the soldiers, the, the larger workers there, acting as a replete. And look at all of those swollen abdomens in there as well. So they're the storage uh, for the colony, which is great. So you can see them all there huddled nicely in the corner there. They do like it fairly cramped. So there's plenty of room here in this new Waitong nest for them, which is fantastic. So I hope you're enjoying just having a little look around this colony, this nest at the moment. Now, I've got two hydration ports, one on either side. Um, I do alternate it a little bit, but they love hanging around it, which tells me they like a bit of the moisture and the humidity in the nest as well. They have put all of the brood around on the left-hand side, and then they huddle over on the right-hand side as well, which is really good. So here we can see the brood, the queen, and a lot of the workers huddled, huddled around that hydration port. So that's really interesting and just tells me a little bit about the colony, about this species of ants and how they like their environment as well, which is fantastic. So I just need to make sure I hydrate the middle of the nest occasionally as well. Keep that humidity nice and high. In fact, with this colony, I've actually got a little temperature and high um, humidity meter and I think I might connect it up just so I can get a feel for what they like as well and get those quite cheap as well. So this is the Waitong nest. Let me know in the comments what you think of the nest. I'd really like your thoughts on this and a custom one. Um, it was a lot of fun making it, but it did take a little bit of time as well. I'd like to actually make some more of these and maybe even make an all-in-one um, nest out of Waitong. So that's a little bit of a look at my Colony 1, my banded sugar ants, Campanotus consabrinus. What do you guys think? Do you like this colony, guys? Do you love it? Are you enjoying the journey? Would you like to see more updates? I hope you really do. Um, it's fantastic. So day two tomorrow, colony number two. So I hope you look forward to that one, guys. Uh, please give this a thumbs up so the YouTube algorithm knows that you like my stuff. And also subscribe if you haven't already as well. That really helps me out and just lets more people know about my videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy ant keeping.